Well, hello everyone, back again to another video and in this video, we are going to create YouTube style, Instagram style, Reels uh, web interface uh, using just HTML, CSS. Uh, yes, uh, you can do that by just using HTML, CSS, uh, like that, that scrolling effect. I'm not going to play the video, but I'm going to give the logic of how you can do it and we can maybe cover it in uh, future videos. Uh, but in today's video, what we are going to do is like uh, the moment we scroll, uh, you can see how that snaps into uh, the place. Uh, so we are going to do that. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, so I have my, let me see if recording is, okay, the recording is here. Okay, let's get started. So this is a blank page. Um, so let us start. Let me zoom in. Okay, so this is my YouTube, um, let's say Insta. What do we have? TikTok and uh, okay, TikTok is like that. And what do we have? Okay, Reels. Okay, we have all of these things. Uh, reload. Okay. Now, let's get here. And the first thing is uh, let me remove all that default thing that make our web page trash. So, margin zero, padding zero, and box sizing uh, is going to be border box. Okay, and the body for now would be background color black so that we can get more of a YouTube-ish feeling. I don't know that what even exists or not, but okay. So let's get a div tag and this div will have the reels container. So we will call it reels container in which all the reels would be populated. Uh, <clears throat> you can just populate using um, JavaScript or if you are using any front-end framework, you can just use for loop here, uh, but I'm going to uh, do it manually so this is my reels okay let's give a real class and just copy paste a bunch of times okay uh so this is my reels container uh, let's just quickly style that reels container okay so this is my class let me quickly style it uh so this should be background let's say pink for now and uh what do we else need okay so height and the height would be uh uh, around 60 v view height and the width should be 30 uh, view width okay that's too big i guess 20 okay 25 let's hold up there uh, height is a little bit bigger for the reels okay now we have a good height starting up okay uh we have the reels container now uh let me just uh center this so style display flex justify content center now we have the cent now we have centered our elements uh, also i think a margin top would be better uh, around 1 around 2 em which is 16 plus 6, 32 pixels okay now it's a little bit looking good okay so now what we need to do is let's style our reels uh, that that's called reel okay so this is my reel uh, now, what basically is we're going to use a scroll uh, type of thing. Okay, so let me style the reels. This minimum height would be because we are going to do display flex. Okay, this is going to be display flex. And the minimum height for this is actually, uh, let's say, 75 uh, view height. And the width, minimum width is going to be. Uh, the same as 25 viewport and let me get a background color of this uh, which is again going to be red okay now you can see we have uh, this kind of thing uh, but what uh, we can do is uh, overflow auto which means that now we have this thing uh, but uh, okay let me give it a gap of 2 em so we can see where there is a cut okay now you can see these are all uh, distinct elements but uh, the reels are not like this the reels are like that okay so we're gonna do a uh, flex direction uh, which is going to be a column so now we have reels like this but now you can see we are scrolling it but when we scroll up reels itself snaps into their correct positions uh, so for that, what we are going to do is, uh, okay, let me just remove this background color because I think we don't need it anymore. So now you can see we have this background color and uh, the minimum width, I think it should be, uh, okay. So first thing, let me just remove this 
uh, scroll bar because it's so webkit scroll bar display none right there now okay let's move up forward uh, so what now we need to do is scroll snap type which is going to be y which means that we want to scroll we're going to snap it on y direction which is mandatory okay uh, now you can see it's still not snapping because we have to write here uh, scroll snap align start okay now you see if we do this it automatically the, like the moment you scroll up it's going to automatically snap itself into its position uh, so if we see if it's working or not so one two three four five six now you can see it's one it's two it's three now now you can see uh, we are getting the accurate positions now there is another uh, thing in this which is the proximity which means that if it's at the edge uh, the scroll like if it's uh, like this is my box and if it's like the edge like just touching over like in this case uh, you can see that this has more area than this so which means that you are not scrolling like we are not tend to snapping it but if you are if you if you scroll up a little bit now you can see the moment you hit uh, the moment the area of the bottom one is greater than the upper one it's gonna snap it like this now not snapping not same but moment you now the from here if we just scroll one time ahead it will gonna snap so that's how this works but I think for this uh, for making a YouTube reels or something like that mandatory is better because uh, you will have all that YouTube Reels effect. Okay, so this was it for today's video. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, see ya. Have a good day.